Good day, everyone. Um, on my on my previous video, I was I was discussing about um a particular value coming from the user, and tend to evaluate whether that particular value is an odd or an even. And uh, I did use this uh, C operator, just this modulus. The the function of modulus is to to return whatever is the remainder value of that particular uh, expression okay. and for us to to know that uh, a the value is an odd or even is through the remainder if the remainder value is zero then that's an even number if the remainder value is not zero then that's an odd number right and since module operator is capable of returning back that whatever is the remainder value then we did use uh, that particular operator and um, on this video I'm going to discuss uh, something similar but then instead of just displaying whether a particular value is an odd or even then we'll try to display whatever is the remainder of that and whatever is the quotient the result of such division and then how much is the remainder right so again it's a very simple program but i just love to share this one for the beginner for those who are you know struggling to learn c programming language okay i'd love to share this to you and uh you guys if you find it um useful and uh you learn something out from this video i would like to suggest please share this video um, please click subscribe and uh, inform your classmates your, your you know your, your your friends your relatives that hey try to visit kuya igor <laughs> okay so um here i'm going to share my my um online notepad okay this is our problem right uh, we'll try to create a program that will print or display the quotient and whatever is the remainder okay and then we need to you know we have to be familiar with the input and output the rules in variables and of course the data types and we'll be using if else conditions and the c operator i am trying to refer to the division and the modulo operators those are actually part of the c operators remember there are actually four operators in c logical relational mathematical and we have this assignment operator okay so um, modulo and division is part of the mathematical um, operators okay? so i'm going to discuss uh, in a while okay so this is our program i declared num1 and num2 as integer this is actually for the division and I, I i did use q for the quotient and rim for my remainder value okay in here i'll be using the, the modulo operator okay and for q i'll be using the division the slash operator okay and i did use um, two sets of inputs and output statement print enter first number then whatever is that number store it to num1 and then after that uh, you'll be needing the second value and then the second value will be stored eventually at num2 and in here um, I tried to check if um, num2 is equal to zero right because num2 here serves as our divisor and we are all aware that we cannot divide anything by zero so if this condition is true meaning if the divisor is zero then we'll display can divide by zero and exit by way of returning zero meaning exit from from the main program okay since we are having this as an in, integer main functions so when you say return zero you're good as you're trying to exit the program and stop okay if this condition is false meaning the divisor is not zero then we are able to divide anything so we'll try to divide num1 by num2 just to get the quotient and since quotient is declared as an integer variable 
So this queue will only store and accept whole number. The remainder will be ignored eventually. And RIN will try to get whatever is the remainder. Modulo. The remainder of this number divided by num2. Ignoring the integral part, the whole number, and getting the remainder value. And on the last line, we tend to, to display whatever is Q and whatever is M by using this to data place holders. Okay? So I, I, I hope I was able to, to you know, to, to slice the programs by line. Now here, um, assuming our num1 we our the user supplied 8 for example right and then for num2 for the second number uh, the user inputted or supplied uh, for example 4 right so here comes the condition is num2 right is num2 which is how much 4 equal to 0 the condition is false right so since false let's proceed to this one so the formula is what um, q is equal to num1 divided by num2 our num1 is 8 right and our num2 is 4 so 8 divided by 4 is 2 right and that 2 will be stored to q are you following and uh, the next the next formula is rem is equal to num1 which is 8 modulo 4 meaning try to get the remainder and the remainder of 8 divided by 4 is 0 and that 0 will be stored to Ram, right so eventually this program will display what it will display um, quotient is equal to two one two right remainder is equal to zero okay so this is the this is the screen now now uh, we'll try to execute this program by by using uh, my online compiler okay this is actually the same program that I discussed in here right okay so uh, it will ask for the first number and the second number and then check whether the divisor is zero if that's the case then display cannot divide by zero and exit if false meaning the divisor is not zero then compute for the portion compute for the remainder by way of using modulo and then display whatever is the result okay are you following am i too fast or just okay now we'll try clicking run button so again uh we'll try to use our example value eight right when i press enter k eight will be stored to num one and uh, say for example 4 that 4 will be stored to num2 and since the condition is false meaning our divisor is not zero then it proceeds to the competition and display whatever is the result so our quotient is 2 and our remainder is 0 which is which is actually correct quotient is 2 and our remainder is 0 okay now we'll try using another value say for example um 97 right and then try to use 3 when you press enter k uh quotient is 32 right 97 divided by 3 is 32 point something point one the remainder is one we'll try to use a smaller value for example let us say our num1 is 10 and our num2 is 3 10 divided by 3 is 3, right? 3.1, right? 3 times 3 is 9 plus remainder, which is 1, that's 10. <laughs> We're back in our elementary days. So when I press enter K, the quotient is 3 and the remainder is 1. Now, this quotient is 3 is actually the result of this one. Q 
Q is equal to num1 divided by num2 and it displays the whole number because Q is being declared as an integer variable. Um, remainder is actually the result of this one. The modulo returns whatever is the remainder value and stored it to rem. And it displays whole number because rem, rem is declared as an integer also. Okay. So if quotient is 3 and the divisor is 3, 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1, that's 10. That's according to our math instructor in elementary. If you are to check if your division process is correct or, or not. <laughs> <laughs> Are you following? Okay. Uh, did I discuss the quotient and remainder? Well, I, I, I hope I shared something uh, simple but uh, useful in your programming um, journey. Okay. So, another example. Last example. Let us say, for example, um, our value is 9. And we will try 0 as our divisor. When you press enter k, can't divide by 0. Why? Because because of the zero, our num2, the condition becomes true. Our num2 is equal to zero. And if this is the case, display can divide by zero and exit from the program. So, can't divide by zero, which is correct. Okay? So, thank you so much for, for watching this video. I hope you find it useful and please share this YouTube channel to your friends, to your relatives, to your neighbors, you know. Um, let's try to share this YouTube channel. This is actually a free, you know, C programming class, okay, online class. And from the, from here, you can you can jump up to another programming languages. And uh, trust me, take it from me. It, it is going to be easier than whatever, right? When you're good in C, and you're going to migrate to another programming languages just it could be a lot easier than anything okay so um thank you so much for watching this video god bless you god is always good <laughs>